Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out this rotisserie restored 1973 Barracuda. Plum crazy purple. We're done in a rotisserie, so the body bottom of this car is all painted body color as well. Yeah. Just beautiful. A lot of power under the under the hood. A ton of power. Uh, 440. Built 440. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, not only will you see about 25 photos of the trunk and the undercarriage painted beautifully, you also get the full uh, information on the motor. It was a 1971 motor, uh, six-pack engine. It tells about the in, uh, the internals in it as well. It's very nice. Nice stuff to have. Look at the bottom of the hood paint. It's just gorgeous. The top of the inner fenders. Look at the firewall. Can you kind of get in on that a little bit? Yeah, I almost want to just taste this color. So <laughs> I, I like that. Great flavor. Oh, it's gorgeous. Even the hood springs and stuff. I mean, there's no overspray on any of it. It was completely dismantled, painted on a rotisserie, put all back together piece by piece. Aluminum radiator, power steering, power disc brakes on the front, D. Yes, sir. Also has a factory fender tag. Um, the started life uh, as a, just a factory G code 318 Barracuda, but uh, it's far from that today. Now this thing will get you in some trouble. And the gap is absolutely perfect from front to back on the passenger side. Lines up great back here as well. Top of the fender lines up nice. This paint job is gorgeous. I know it was done a few years back. I know the previous owner had it for like five or six years for sure. So, I mean, it's been done when he got it. It was all restored, but very well taken care of. Yeah, 10 4. Plum Crazy Purple, all new bumpers. I love the little front chin spoilers as well. It does have a little crack in the grill. I did notice that. Like the worst part about the whole car is right here. It's just like a little micro crack. And to them in the grill. Other than that, it's a nice shape. Paint is gorgeous throughout. You look up and down the body, it's laser straight. We did just put brand new American Racing Torque Thrust wheels on it. The BFG tires were on the uh, other rims that came on the car, so we just went ahead and left them. Top of the fender and door all line up nice. No rust, no bubbles, no issues whatsoever there. Gives you a little idea of the undercarriage. Look how straight that quarter is. New chrome mirrors, new door handles, top of the door lines up great to the quarter. Vinyl top is perfect. And how about the rear window louvers? Like you it. don't see them much in a CUDA. This add that like little extra meanness to it. Exactly, the this rear thing, spoiler. This car just kind of looks pissed off. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Wait till you hear it run, then you, it sounds pissed off too. Dual exhaust comes out the back really nicely. Back balance is beautiful. All new emblems, all new tail light trim. I mean, the previous owner stated that when they built this car, they had over $50,000 in restoring it. And you can definitely uh, see where they spent the money. And it was restored back in the day too. Yep. Now to do it now, you're probably talking 100. Yeah. You know, the interior is no slouch either. Not only is the paint and body gorgeous, look at the interior. I mean, the jam paint is just as nice as the rest of the car. I really like the dash and the gauge setup on it. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. I'll let you get it in the trunk if you would, bud. Mm -hmm. All new rubbers, felts, even new screws and stuff like that around the door panels. If you're in the market for a cool, great sound of Cuda, this is it. I mean, this is a really nice car. Just had a black 340 uh, six pack. Car came from the same owner. So he had there's, two beautiful Cudas. There's a lot of guys that inquired on that that are you know patiently waiting for this one because that black one sold so quickly. Yeah. Um, this one, as far as paint and stuff, is rotisserie sword, so it's a little nicer than the black one. But the black one had a 340 um, six pack and just a super sick car as well. So gauges aftermarket, they're in great shape. You got a digital speedometer here. Um, if you notice, there's no speedometer in those gauges. You had the digital one that come with it. Um, this one does not have wipers nor heater. So don't ask me to put a heater in it. It's not going to have one. 
It was a fair weather car. It is. If you want to, you know, you want a heater, vintage air, something like that, you can always do that down the road. But um, this thing's a go fast, have fun, look good, and sound good mm -hmm. kind of car. Back seat's perfect. Headliner's excellent. Visors are nice. Um, on the headliner, we just had a couple little indentations right here. Um, man, carpet's nice. Now check this out. I mean, this is... What a quality restoration, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Seems it's a street beast. Yeah, it's nice. Even the paint quality in here. You really have to see this purple Cuda in person to appreciate the condition. I love the Cuda spoilers too, how they're kind of like a bat wing, you know? Like, they're not like your typical... Mustang ones. Yeah. Body's laser straight. Um, one thing, I do have wheel well trim coming for this. It just wasn't in yet, and I didn't want to wait the next couple days, but they have been shipped out. So we're going to go ahead and install them if you want. And the reason being is because that's the only real spot I've ever seen a chip on it. Um, and maybe that front fender does have one. Got a little chip right there. Yeah, and that wheel well trim is going to cover that, dude. And the wheel trim will look good, too. Oh, I think it'll look great. It's, got, it's already got the rocker molding, the chrome mirrors. Um, but it's your choice. If you want to put it on, you want us to put it on, we can. Or more, we can leave it off and leave it in a box in the trunk, whatever you decide. <laughs> Said door handles, mirrors, everything's new. Open up the, the door, the dome light comes on just like it should. Seats are beautiful and they're nice and comfortable. Look how deep that door jam pane is. Corner of the door. The more I look at every little inch of this car, the more sold I get on it myself. I mean, yeah. can't beat a, a Cuda, and especially can't be Plum Crazy Cuda. Purple, yeah. 440 built, 500 plus horsepower. And let's get, uh, let's quit talking about this thing and show them what the hell it does. So, talk is cheap. Let's see what this thing can do. Talk about the rest of the shit later. How's that yeah. sound? Love the gauge setup. Oh, Man, that's awesome. Yeah, awesome this like car. throws you right back. What a nice Cuda. As far as uh, does not have power, but it's got the disc brakes, right? There's your brakes. Yep. Stops great. Listen to it even idle here at a stop sign. Um, oil pressure, 80 pounds. Temperature gauge works. Volt gauge is a little haywire between 14 and 15. Gas gauge works. Just, just quick note. So for you guys watching, so on the video, it looks like the speedometer is blinking. It's not. It's just because the way of forever when you film like a digital thing like uh, that, it blinks. Okay. So in the video, it looks like it's flashing, but it does not flash in person. That works properly. The wiper switch, headlight switch, all that stuff is still all here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, they didn't take any of the wiper switch. I mean, the dash looks perfect. The it's interiors, just a, yeah. like mint. Yeah, Headliner's very, very perfect, nice. dash is nice, door panels. Or even the, I don't know, you probably showed already, but the back seat and package tray and all that kind of stuff. I didn't get a good picture of it though. Yeah. ideal day to be out cruising no. in this baby. And we want to make sure we get the big block warmed up before we get too crazy with it. 90 pounds oil pressure though, right now nice. going down the road. That's great oil pressure. This thing, suspension wise, I mean, feels real nice. Oh man, everything's new. I mean, everything's been redone on it. Yeah, on top side of the hood's beautiful. Yeah, as you look across the hood, the hood lines up really nicely. The brakes stop perfectly. Groovy mirrors, nice and tight. Tranny 
shifts awesome. I mean, it's about 25 degrees out, so this thing's not set up yet for that. But once the guy gets it really warmed up, I mean, just fantastic. Won't be long, it'll be spring weather, and these cars will be happier than hell. But check this one out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Just a badass CUDA.